Good morning, everybody. So this morning for my Power 5, I wanted to talk on the topic of are you worshiping God or are you serving God and the difference between the two. So as I've been growing in my walk with God, I've learned that there's a stark difference between worshiping and serving God. Growing up, I worshiped God. I went to church with religious people, but by how we lived our daily lives, you would have never guessed that we went to church twice on a Sunday, had Bible studies, and attended youth groups. Worshiping and serving God are not two of the same thing. For instance, in the story of Jonah, when Jonah was running from God, he was in a boat that was in the middle of a storm. And Jonah told the people on the boat that he worshiped God, the God of heaven. And the storm was because he was running from God. He stated with his mouth that he worshiped God, but was he serving him? Not at all. At that moment, Jonah was heading in the literal opposite direction of where God was telling him to go. Once Jonah submitted to God, God preserved him and gave him all he needed to fulfill God's purpose. And through Jonah's service to God, an entire city of about 120,000 people came to repent and acknowledge God as their Lord. I've been thinking on this passage since I heard it in a sermon a couple weeks ago. In the past week, I was able to go up with my wife to a praise and worship night in Calgary. It was such a great time to be surrounded by so many people praising God. It makes me excited to see what heaven will be like when we get to praise God together forever. But this Bible story in jo of Jonah has me thinking, while in such a large gathering of Christians, how many of these people actually serve God and not just worship him? How many are chasing an encounter with God because he isn't a part of their everyday life? They're like a pitcher of water that has a hole in it. It holds water for a little while, but eventually it goes empty and dry. And when I, and when I hear that, it reminds me of James 2, verses 19. When they were talking about uh, it says here that you believe that there is one God. Good. Even the demons believe that, and they shudder. What's the point of worshiping God if you're not going to serve him? You're on your way to hell in the name of Jesus. That thought scares me. It motivates me to live my life to the best of my abilities in service of God. I have grown a lot in the past few years, and I have a long way to go. But as God preserved Jonah to fulfill his calling, I know God will preserve me to fulfill the calling in my life as a husband, father, son, grandson, brother, employee, and other roles that God has for me but hasn't revealed yet. My power five seems to be a little heavier than, than most, but I am at the point in my walk with God that the urgency of being intentional with our faith is becoming very clear. We have no time to waste. We fight not against powers of this world, but the power of the one who rules this world. It's not the calling for the faint of heart. It's eternity we're fighting for. Who's with me? <laughs>